We're just 18 kilometers from the city of Budapest here in Hungary, where today's Formula One race is about to take place. It's the Hungarian Grand Prix. Fourteen corners then for our drivers to navigate at the 2.7 mile Hungaro ring today. It's six lefts and eight rights around a lap here with average speeds in the region of 120 miles per hour. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the run down into Turn 1. It's all a bit like going into battle, and the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Perez, Daniel Ricciardo, and Stroll, Vettel, Fernando Alonso, Leclerc, and Carlos Sainz, Sonoda, Gasly, Lando Norris, and Ocon. Raikkonen, Giovinazzi, Nicholas Latifi, and Mick Schumacher. Mazepin and George Russell ends our grid lineup. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. DRS is now enabled.
Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. Red Bull pulling out all the stops today. What a great win. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? Well, time management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. There's been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive with the other teams, and they're certainly proving themselves. Some amazing talent out on the track today, but Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? Carlos Sainz certainly wasn't someone to scoff about. His ability to follow race strategies throughout with pinpoint precision has to be commended.